Hi, this is Melissa, the insurance exam queen, and we're going to talk about limits of liability, particularly on the auto policy. <clears throat> so first, let's what does limits of liability mean? Limits of liability can mean a lot of things. <laughs> well, there's many limits ultimately, but limits of liability is the max the insurer will pay for whatever it is we're talking about. So there's a limit of liability on every accident. There's a limit of liability on each person. There's a limit of liability for property damage. Like everything has its own limit of liability. And that simply means what is the max they're going to pay for that one thing? So limit of liability is, is everything on the policy pretty much has a limit of liability. Even the policy itself in total has a limit of liability. So it simply means what is the max the insurer will pay for that one thing that we're talking about. So the first thing is an aggregate. Now the aggregate is the policy maximum. So when you buy insurance and they'll tell you we'll cover 25,000 per person, 50,000 per accident, 25 um, property damage, when you see a split limit like that, 25, 50, 25, that's how much you get for each accident. And there's only so many accidents that you can essentially have before they're done paying. Our policies are not limitless. There has to be a limit on them. So even your auto policy probably has like a million, $2 million limit. So they all have a limit. That's like the ultimate limit. Then inside of the aggregate is a per accident limit. So each accident gets its own limit as well. And a very common number for that is 25, 50, 25. So this is part A, this is liability. This is covering other people. So every time you have an accident, you're allowed to take that limit for that accident. And that's the per occurrence. So per occurrence is how much is available for each accident that you have. So if we were to say 25, 50, 25, this is what you can take out every accident that you have. So every time you crash your car into someone else and you cause them medical injuries or you cause them property damage, you can get this much money or whatever your limit is. So this is the per occurrence accident limit. And you have so many of those in your policy. This is only showing three, but there's however many it takes to get up to a million or whatever your aggregate is. I wanted to show you how it's kind of like broken up. Like if you think of an aggregate as like a day, like a 24 hour day, each accident would be an hour. And then like the limits would be like the minutes. And, and so like if the aggregate represented a 24 hour day, which represents your whole policy, so let's say we took your policy and broke it into one day. The aggregate would be 24 hours, like the total of a day. And then each per occurrence would represent one hour. So you get one hour here, one hour here, one hour here. Then you were to break it up into minutes. <laughs> the hour is broken up even further. So each, each accident has a per occurrence total limit, but then it breaks it up even further where we say you get 50,000 total for all bodily injury. So no matter how many people you crash into, whether you hit one person, 10 people, or 20 people, the most amount of money the insurer will pay is 50,000 for all bodily injuries in total. So 50,000 is the max of all bodily injury limit. Now each person also has a limit. So even though you have 50,000 for all bodily injuries, each person can only get up to 25. So this number is telling you how you're allowed to divide this number. Basically, you can hit two people at 25 each for a total of 50,000, which tells you this is a really low limit. So you should definitely encourage your insureds to get those higher limits. So you have 50,000 total bodily injury. Each person gets 20 up to 25, but they can never get more than 25. So even if you were in an accident and you hit one person and their medical bills were 30,000 and you've got 50, you can still only give them 25 because that's the per person limit. So you have a bodily injury limit. That's the max of all bodily injury. And you can, you break that up by per person. So each person is able to get up to 25 of the 50. It's not 25 plus 50, it's 25 per person for a total of 50 available. Then they even break up property damage and you get 25,000 for property damage or whatever your limit is. And that's the max property damage limit. So if the aggregate is one full day, 
per occurrence would be one of those hours and you have what you would have 24 of those basically 24 accidents available to you and when you get into an accident we break it up by minutes so like property damage would be like you know a minute or bodily injury would be like a minute property damage would be like a minute and per person would be like seconds because we're breaking up that minute even further it's just one way to think about it if that analogy doesn't work for you then then ignore it simply just look at the words and the definitions of things so basically you your every accident you have they have that per occurrence limit so if you were having an accident at 9 a.m 25 50 25 you have another accident at 10 a.m 25 50 25 you have another accident at 11 a.m 25 50 25 every single time you have a new accident you're using your per occurrence limit but after so many accident, 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 they'll say that's enough and that's your aggregate because your aggregate is your absolute maximum on, on all the policies. So as a quick recap, you have your limit of liability, which is the max the insurer will pay for any one thing, whatever it is we're talking about. An auto policy and, and all policies have an aggregate. An aggregate is just a policy maximum. The auto policy has its is aggregate and then it's broken up by per occurrence, which is every single accident is a per occurrence. And then within each accident, you have a bodily injury limit. You have a property damage limit. So bodily injury is for their medical bills. Property damage is for the damage to their car. Or if you crash into a building, the damage of the building, or you crash into a stop sign, the damage of the stop sign, whatever you hit, that is not a person would be property damage. And then of that $50,000 bodily injury limit, each person can only get up to 25. So each person gets up to 25, no more than 50 in total is paid out. And then you get 25,000 property damage. And this is one per occurrence limit. And you have this available every time you have an accident until you have so many accidents that you've hit the aggregate. So it's like this, every time you have an aggregate, lowers and lowers. So like if you were to have an accident, it's like, oh, you used up that ability. Now your aggregate is somewhat empty. Oh, you have another accident. Now your aggregate's going to get less and less and less every time that you have an, an accident. And then when your policy renews, the aggregate will restore itself. So if you were to use whatever limits you use during your six months, it'll empty, it'll lower the aggregate. Like imagine the aggregate is a big bucket of money. And every time you have an accident, you're taking money out of the bucket. You have a car accident, take money out of the bucket. 25, 50, 25, have an accident, 25, 50, 25, that bucket lowers and lowers and lowers and it will refill and reestablish at the end of the six months when the policy renews itself. So that was a quick rundown of the limits of liability on an auto policy. If you need any help or assistance, please drop a comment below. You can also email me at insurance exam queen, especially email me your failed score sheets. If you failed the exam at all already, please send me your exam score sheet. I will analyze it for you, get it back to you, insuranceexamqueen at gmail.com. And I have boot camp recordings available as well. If you click the link in my profile on YouTube, it'll take you to recordings that I have for different classes. You can watch those, download those videos, and be able to play them as much as you can to help you learn this information. Have a wonderful day, and I'm sending you all the wonderful vibes so that you guys can pass your exam. Woo!